Numerous television and movie stars are renowned for their rags to riches stories. However, it goes both ways, and while some are still enjoying the fruits of their labor, others can barely afford to pay their bills. Great acting skills for sure, but financial planning is not the strongest suit for these nice celebrities. Kim Basinger came to prominence for her performance of Bond girl Domino Pitachi in Never Say Never Again from 1983, but soon after appearing in Tim Burton's blockbuster Batman in 1989, the actress found herself in a hard spot when she pulled out of the controversial film Boxing Helena in 1993, which resulted in Mainline Pictures Studio winning an $8.1 million judgment against her. Because of this, the LA Confidential Femme Fatale declared bankruptcy and all her assets were liquidated, and among them was the town of Brazelton, Georgia that she bought for $20 million in order to create a tourist attraction. Misha Barton began acting as a child and had roles in movies like The Sixth Sense and Nutting Hill before she became famous with her role as Marissa Cooper in the teen TV series The O.C. when she was 17 years old. Her downfall began with alcohol and drug controversies and a nervous breakdown in 2009, but she really infuriated her fans and critics with an Instagram post regarding the Black Lives Matter movement in 2016. In her tribute to Alton Sterling, she said that executions like his and all the other controversy in the United States left her heartbroken, but then shows a picture of herself on a yacht drinking champagne during a vacation to go along with the post. Even though Barton deleted the post after being heavily criticized for the choice of imagery and also apologized the next day, she should have really thought this through before risking her already failing career by commenting on such a sensitive issue. After being one of the hottest and most sought after actresses in Hollywood in the late 90s and early 2000s, Barton's career quickly went downhill after that and her financial problems were made worse due to her mother defrauding her and taking out loans on her home. Best known for playing Rick O'Connell in the Mummy trilogy, as well as George of the Jungle and Journey to the Center of the Earth, Brendan Fraser is another movie star that went broke really fast. Back in 93, he met Afton Smith at a barbecue thrown by Winona Ryder and the two eventually got married. In 2007, however, after nine years of marriage, the couple announced their divorce that reached its conclusion two years later. Considering how successful The Mummy was, one would have thought that the actor wouldn't have a problem landing a role after role, but this wasn't the case, and paying alimony and child support suddenly got a lot harder. Ultimately, in 2013, Fraser tried to reduce the annual payment that he was making to his ex-wife and their three children, insisting that he can't cover the costs he originally agreed to and listing a number of medical issues to the court, blaming them for his inability to earn as much as he used to. Still, his ex-wife wasn't buying it and expressed her belief that the mummy star was actually hiding money from her. Whatever the case may be, Hollywood had seemingly forgotten Fraser so he ended up taking any role that came his way just to pay child support, after which he's still extremely broke. Comedian and actor Chris Tucker was part of numerous films such as The Fifth Element, Jackie Brown and the Rush Hour films, which brought him a lot of fame and fortune. In fact, in the Rush Hour films, where he played the role of Detective James Carter, Tucker made a total of $75 million for all three films and even received 20% of the gross earnings on top of his pay for the third film. At this point, the actor and comedian had made so much money that he decided to lead a more relaxed life outside of the limelight. However, in 2014, the IRS came after him, claiming that he owed the government millions of dollars. According to some sites, Tucker had piled up debts of $14 million, while the representatives quickly stated that it was actually a settlement of just $2.5 million. Regardless of what the exact figure was, it appeared that Tucker had made some bad investments, though he blamed it all on his financial management team. Following his financial troubles, Tucker's net worth has been estimated as being anywhere between $5 million and minus $11.5 million, which is pretty shocking considering he continued making movies and doing comedies. Nicolas Cage was once one of Hollywood's biggest stars, making millions from numerous box office hits and earning a whopping $40 million in 2009 alone. But the actor is also one of Hollywood's biggest spenders who purchased a number of homes, automobiles, a collection of castles, dinosaur skulls and rare artifacts, rare comic books and other luxury items with million dollar price tags. However, in 2009, reports surfaced saying that the IRS had placed tax liens on multiple properties the actor owned and that Cage owed the US government more than $6 million in back taxes for failing to pay his 2007 tax bill. At the same time, it was also revealed that Cage was in the process of being sued for failing to repay huge loans and he eventually had to sell many of his belongings, including a treasured comic book. 
Like so many celebrities who went broke, Cage decided to blame his advisors for the bad financial management and thus declined all responsibility for his troubles, which forced him to take pretty much any film role he could get in recent years. Amanda Bynes stood in the front of the camera from the age of 7 and it didn't take long for her career to take off. After being a regular on all that on Nickelodeon, she got her own spin-off, The Amanda Show. Her talent for comedy took her quite far, but when she decided to retire from acting, it seemed like her life quickly took a pretty turbulent turn. She was arrested numerous times, and in addition to constantly getting into trouble, she showed signs of a psychotic break, which did eventually happen. During that difficult time, Amanda became a shadow of her former self and was hardly recognizable. One of the most famous pictures from her breakdown was the one showing her wearing a horrible, cheap-looking blonde wig. After suffering this very public mental breakdown in 2013, the former child star was placed under psychiatric hold in temporary conservatorship over her medical care and finances. She eventually regained control over her life when she started attending fashion school and managed to stay out of trouble, which eventually resulted in her regaining control of her finances again in 2017, after a judge deemed her to be doing so much better. These days Amanda is back on her feet, looking more like herself again, and having been sober for 4 years, she has even announced that she wants to return to acting. Stephen Baldwin is the youngest of the four Baldwin brothers, who are of course all actors, and has starred in movies like Born on the Fourth of July, The Usual Suspects, and The Flintstones in Viva Rock Vegas. Stephen is known for his bouts of substance abuse and soul searching, and in 2009, after accumulating thousands of dollars in back taxes, overextending a couple of mortgages and credit card bills, the actor was a few million dollars in debt and had to file for bankruptcy. On another occasion, he was also arrested and served 5 years probation for failing to pay taxes for 3 years in a row. Unfortunately, the youngest Baldwin brother appeared to have learned nothing from his mistakes, as the troubles repeated when his house was foreclosed in 2017 after he had failed to make mortgage payments for 6 straight years. If you've seen National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, Days of Thunder or Independence Day, you will certainly remember Randy Quaid. Although he was never an A-list celebrity, he's a Golden Globe winner and Oscar nominee, and certainly made some good money from appearing in a number of Hollywood hits. However, that didn't protect him from falling in some hard times, and in recent years, news about the actor have not been good. With no movie roles on the horizon, and the actor making the headlines for being on the run from law enforcement for racking up several unpaid hotel bills of $10,000 each, everything seems to point towards Quaid having spent all of his Hollywood money. He even got into trouble for squatting in a house that he didn't own, and in addition to having no home for a while, Quaid apparently also had no country for a period of time. He and his wife claim that the root of their problem lays with the Hollywood star whackers, a secret underground cult that defames or even assassinates movie stars as means of embezzling their fortunes. Convinced that someone in the US was after him, Quaid and his wife tried to claim refugee status in Canada, and when the northern neighbor of the US denied their request, the couple ended up hopping back and forth across the border for a while, until eventually settling down in Vermont where his wife grew up, and Randy is apparently hoping to become a firefighter. Hollywood stars apparently have a knack for falling from grace and Johnny Depp wasn't an exception. Even though throughout his career, the man behind Captain Jack Sparrow earned $650 million between making headlines for his long, messy and well-documented divorce from the Aquaman actress Amber Heard and filing lawsuits left and right against pretty much everyone, Depp managed to lose almost everything due to his lavish lifestyle. As Hollywood Reporter revealed, his managers tried to explain to him that his cash flow had reached a crisis point as he couldn't cover his monthly bills that went up to $2 million, including $350,000 that went for the maintenance of his yacht. On top of that, he was paying hundreds of thousands of dollars to his ex-partner Vanessa Parody and their children, as well as $3.6 million for his 40-person staff on a yearly basis. Moreover, he was making ridiculous impulse purchases and was spending around $30,000 a month on wines flown to him from around the globe. Ultimately, Depp agreed to sell his beloved yacht to cover his expenses, and the managers parted ways with him. Thank you for checking this video out, and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed, and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Once again, thank you for watching and see you next time.